and welcome to another edition of the MBS News. I'm Dr. Janelle Charles-Williams reporting from the Healthcare and Conference Building right here on Nevis Street, home for the MBS Invigilators, a team dedicated to maintaining contact with the business community. I am Delicia Bonney at the Sir Vivian Richards Cricket Stadium, a traditional venue for our anniversary independence activities. And I am Naika Walsh, reporting from the Cancer Center, Eastern Caribbean, where persons requiring cancer treatment, including breast cancer, can access quality care. Our invigilators are committed to visiting each business place at least once per year to perform the annual audit. That process is of mutual benefit to the employers and the medical benefit scheme. A key document as part of that process is the remittance form or the R3A. The monthly contribution forms can be collected at our reception area, that's the physical green forms. Additionally, we do have the forms available online, which makes your life so much easier. Now these forms are easily downloadable. You click on our website, www.mbs.gov.ag. Once you would have downloaded the form, you complete the form in its entirety, ensuring that the employer's registration number is there, the business name, the business address, and the month that you're submitted for. Additionally, ensure that all employees Smart card numbers are listed on the form. This is very important to ensure that their contributions are allocated to their account. Once you would have completed the form, you select if the person is under 60 or over 60. If you pay them weekly, you identify in the applicable slots what their wages are, as well as if it's a monthly earner. So it's very important that once you complete these forms, these forms are actually signed before submitting. Once you would have signed the forms for ease of access, you can actually, actually email, download, save, and email the form to our contributions at mbs.gov.ag. For ease of access, this is very convenient so that it saves you the time of coming in to submit the form. It is very important for all employees and self-employed to complete a notice discontinuation form when they would have ceased operation, whether it's temporarily or permanently. This must be submitted to the scheme within 10 working days. For example, we know that some persons were affected by the closure during the pandemic. For example, we have the bars, the restaurants, the gyms, schools that were affected. You have to notify the scheme because your account is being estimated. So it's very important for you to notify us within a timely manner so that we can update your account correctly so you're not estimated and then the balance is not correct. So we encourage you to complete these forms in their entirety and submit within the stipulated period. We encourage employers and self-employed persons to get to know the invigilator responsible for their zone. Our invigilators are here to ensure employers stay connected to the MBS and fulfill their statutory obligations. Delicia, happy anniversary to MBS and to the government and people of Antigua and Barbuda. Thank you, Janelle. In October, the Medical Benefit Scheme celebrated 42 years of providing healthcare service to the people of Antigua and Barbuda. Happy birthday! And in observance of Antigua and Barbuda's 40th independence on 1st November 2021, we asked staff at the Medical Benefit Scheme what independence means to them and what they loved about our twin island home. Some of the answers are not what you may expect. What I like about Antigua and Barbuda, the women that drive. Um, <laughs> strange to say that, but that's one of the things that actually shocked me when I came to Antigua. Of most countries in the Caribbean, um, you know, so many women driving and it tells me, it, it said something to me about gee, that confidence that's there, you know. And living here, I've, I, you know, I've seen that, you know, there's this reserve confidence. When people want to get something done, they put all themselves into it, they put all their energies into it. And, you know, that really captured my imagination. 
our geographical location, our people on a whole, um, our beaches, our hospitality, and I deem that we are the best at whatever we do. I like that as Antiguans, we love to nyam and we love our guts. And you can always count on an Antiguan for some good food. Antigua is, is nice because you have a little bit of everything here. Um, it's the beaches, yes, which are renowned and for very good reason. They are better than a lot of places. Um, if you wait till it rains, you have a river, you have a waterfall, there's a bunch of hiking. Um, so you can do a little bit of that. I like the fact that we have freedom of movement, freedom of choice. And uh, again, very, 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 very warm climate. And uh, the fact that you can play any type of sport you want, um, whether it be golf, cricket, football, um, any day of the year, any day of the month. And just a safe place uh, to live um, compared to other places. Awesome photos, Delicia. This photo is interesting as well. Another tradition here at the Medical Benefit Scheme is that every year during the month of October, the staff observe Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Pink Fridays in October is a must. But what is the significance of Pink Fridays? Pink Fridays became a fun way of commemorating uh, all of the Fridays in October. And so survivors, family, friends, organizations who want to support persons who are diagnosed with breast cancer, uh, they came up with this idea of having a fun way to celebrate this, this um, awareness drive. And so when you wear your pink, you are saying to us as survivors, we care. You are saying to the rest of the world, you're saying to women across Antigua and Barbuda, it's time for you to think about doing your mammogram. It's time for you to uh, be doing your breast self-examinations because those breast self-examinations are very important, especially for women over the, the age of 20. I know that Dr. Yaziji, our oncologist here, has said that he has seen breast cancer in women as young as, well, in a girl as young as 13 years. And so when you wear your pink, you are reminding women, remember to do your breast self-examination, remember to schedule your annual mammogram, and if you feel or see something suspicious in your body, you should have a second opinion. Go to a doctor, make sure that you examine it to, to, <laughs> to rule out uh, any late stage breast cancer. Because as we know, breast cancer is one of those cancers that if caught early, in the first stage, in the very early stages, you can live a long, healthy life in remission and you, and you can even be cured of breast cancer. I would really like, uh, the world, Antigua and Barbuda, to have Pink Fridays all year round. 
And that's it for this edition of the MBS News. Remember to follow the COVID-19 protocols. Wash your hands often. Wear your mask. Maintain physical distancing. And ensure that you are fully vaccinated against the COVID-19 virus. I'm Dr. Janelle Charles-Williams. See you soon. And I'm Delicia Bonnie. Until next time, it is also important to stay hydrated, get adequate rest, exercise most days of the week and eat fruits and vegetables. And I am Naika Walsh. Stay inspired. I am